Well, I just, because I, I was really panicking. I was thinking, you know, because Hanny, uh, we had you on uh, last episode of Global, and Hanny said, don't worry, we'll get you under 212. Now, I know you wouldn't tell me your body weight the last time, but were you, yeah. what, did you cruise in nice and steadily, or was there a moment where you thought, okay, we're going to have to really level up here? And um, did you struggle? The, the moment where I scratched my head was early on, like in the beginning of my prep, when I said, whoa like i'm you know i feel like i'm bigger and rounder and, and more 3d than ever and uh leaner at this starting weight um and so i thought wow this this might be a struggle to get down this was a couple months out from the olympia and as the weeks progressed and progressed and progressed it was smooth sailing all the way through the show like there was never a point the last couple weeks where i was questioning anything we were just getting better and better and maintaining my weight right where we wanted it to be and slowly coming down and um even like the last couple weeks as far as like the drying out process was much different than what i'm used to in the past uh in the past it was more of a drastic change like right at the end whereas it was more of a gradual smooth um into the show and i was able to stay rounder fuller and and get much much tighter and that's it was a world of difference this year a I, lot of change. absolutely incredible i mean i'll be honest when i saw that guest posing nine weeks out i just thought uh, your, your glutes were shredded what 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 did you what, what did you weigh at that guest posing at nine weeks out i think i was around 230 somewhere <laughs> in there maybe a little more <laughs> so there you go i told you that one <laughs> i was worried i was worried because to me you did look kind of definitely well certainly over 225 and i just thought is he going to be able to make it down comfortably and not lose that impressiveness yeah right no i um i thought i looked good at that guest posing but i didn't look you know mr olympia stage ready good right mm. so i needed to bring it down a, a little bit more and and you know i won't i won't reveal any pictures of how i looked at you know 220 225 i thought i looked pretty pretty good there but but the thing is is so, you know people keep asking the same question like you asked you know was it hard did you think you do you think you look better to have your weight and i said to be honest with you i don't even think about it i don't question it i have my coach for a reason mm -hmm. i believe in him you know honey rambot he's now a 20 time mr or 20 time olympia champion coach Clearly, he knows what he's doing, so I have full faith in him. And if he says that we're going to come in at 212 and be our best uh, at that 212, then I trust that. And I don't have any questions that, um, is this going to happen, or, or should I be heavier, or sh should I do anything else? This is the game plan that we set, mm -hmm. and I'm all I need to do is execute on a daily basis and keep this focused, keep this straight. And so I think that was the biggest difference this year was a change in my mentality. I um. Uh, instead of focusing and worrying about should I go open, should I be heavier, or can I beat this guy, I need to beat this guy on competition, I just thought to myself, man, I love the fact that I get a body build, build every day of my life. Like, this is really, I'm living my best life right now, and I'm just thankful and grateful that I get to do what I love every day. And not only that, but use it for my ultimate purpose, bring people closer to Christ. And it's just like, I'm just couldn't be more grateful and thankful that this is the life I'm truly living. And uh, I just kind of let the other stuff go, the whole competition, like who's who's going to show up and are they going to be at their best? I expect that. I'm a fan of bodybuilding. I want that as a competitor and as as now a 212 champion. I want the best of the best to come on stage every single time. Um, and so it just pushes me a, that little bit harder to, uh, you know, but at the same time, it's not what – it pushes me a little harder, but it's not what gets me up out of bed every day and gets me into the gym. Mm -hmm. What does that for me is my passion and love for bodybuilding, but that extra little push and that grit and during that grind time, of course, yeah, I know uh, that people are coming in at their best and we all want that prestigious Mr. Olympia title. So uh, there you go. <laughs> uh